Hi and welcome back to this channel. In today's video, we are going to develop a very simple Java program that is going to allow us to output a pattern like this pyramid that you can see on the screen here. Okay, so this is a pyramid that is made up of numbers and we will use um, Java programming language to write a code that will allow us to print out a pyramid like this one. And as you can see, the particularity of this pyramid is that on each row, uh, the number is repeating itself. And also the number is being increased uh, as soon as we pass from one row to another. So we are going to use uh, Java programming language in order to do that. So without delay, let us start with the coding part. So we are still going to use an input object that will allow the user to input a number in the program. And then based on that number, the program is going to determine the number of rows that is going to be in our pyramid. And also make sure that you have imported the scanner class as you can see here. Now, let me declare the variables. I'm going to declare the first variable that will be number of rows as usual. Then I'm going to add some uh, two other variables that I'm going to call x and y. So these are the two variables that I'm going to need in this uh, small program. And uh, so next I'm going to write the output statement. So I'm going to say system that out that print line. Then I'm going to write just a simple message, something like enter the number of rows. That's okay. And then I'm going to write number of rows and console, which is the name of the input object next int, all right, which is a predefined method contained in the scanner class. Then next to this statement, I'm going to write another statement. I'm going to instantiate the variable x. So this is actually going to be a formula. I'm going to say number of rows plus four minus one. So that's it for that. Now I'm going to write my for loop, the first for loop statement. I'm going to write the initialization statement that is going to be int i equal to one. Then i must be less than or equal to uh, the variable number of rows. Then I will say i plus plus open the curly braces. The second for loop statement is going to use the, these two variables, x and y. So in this second for loop statement, I'm going to say uh, y equal to x. So I'm not putting the data type because we already declared it here. Okay. So that's why I'm directly writing y. And uh, the condition is going to be y must be different from zero. And y will be incremented, uh, no, decremented whenever the condition is met. Then um, after that, the output statement, I'm going to say system and out that print. I will say that it's going to print a space. Okay. So this is really important. And I'm going to show you why it's important to put this space here, because if you put uh, an empty string like this and no character inside the quotation marks, you are not actually going to get the pyramid uh, shape. Okay. The pyramid pattern. So it's important to put the space here. And when I'm going to run the program, I'm going to show you the difference. So after writing the second for loop, I'm going to write the third for loop. So this third for loop is going to be, uh, uh, okay, I'm going to say for integer j equal to one, then the condition is j must be less than or equal to i and j incremented. The, the output statement, in the output statement here, I'm going to say that I want the value of i to be outputted, I'm sorry. So I'm going to say I and the concatenation. And then here I'm going to put the string and then the space like this. This is also important. And I'm going to show you in a couple of seconds why it's important to put that as we have done. So I'm going to remove the print line method and keep the print method. So outside of this for loop, I'm going to write another output statement. So this output statement is going to make sure that 
uh, we come to the next line. So I'm going to say print line and then just put an empty string like this, semicolon. And then after this, the last statement I'm going to write is to decrement the value of our variable X. Okay. As you can see, we have uh, instantiated the variable X here. So we want it to decrement throughout our project until it's going to reach zero. And then the, the, the loop is going to stop running. So that's it about the code now we can run this uh, small program as you can see enter the number let me put space between these words here so then run and i'm gonna write uh, five for example and run so as you can see we are having our pyramid all right so we have one two three four five and as i could say at the beginning uh the pyramid is made up of numbers and on each row we can see the numbers are repeating uh themselves and uh okay when you go from the first row to the second row the number is also increasing by one so what I was saying here is that it's important to put the space here because you can see that if I remove this space and then run and uh, type five here, for example, press enter, I'm not getting the pyramid, but I'm getting a right angle. Okay. So uh, a right angle triangle. So that's the same thing. If I remove the space here and then just leave an empty um, string and run, uh, let me write five here. I'm also getting a right angle triangle okay so it's important to put a space if i remove the the two spaces just write uh, empty strings then come here press i've i'm still getting the right angle triangle so it's important to put the spaces so when i put back the spaces and run five as you can see i am having the pyramid so the spaces is going to allow us to have that pyramid like pattern all right so let me run this program once more i'm going to say six for example and as you can see so based on the number the user is going to type it's going to determine uh the number of rows our pyramid is going to be made of so that's it concerning how you can design or uh, develop a java program that is going to allow you to print out a pyramid like shape as the one we can see on the screen right now so guys i hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one let's meet in the next video